Welcome back to another episode of Void City Reviews. I am Dan. I'm Toast. And we are here again looking at some Lennard Toys Aliens figures. This is Wave 2, which is basically just Wave 1 with new colors and some glow-in-the-dark accessories this time. And otherwise, basically the same figures, but I think they look awesome. Again, you can get them at Walmart, and they are $10 each. Actually, they were like nine and some change. So, you now for just under 30 bucks, you get three awesome seven inch alien figures that all come with a cool accessory. It glows in the dark. Ludicrously cheap. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And I, again, oh. I was saying before we started filming that this dog alone is worth 10 bucks. Yeah, that dog's pretty. He's hefty. He's. It's very solid. It's yeah. very well painted. The sculpt is super impressive. It's anatomically correct. That too. For some reason. Yeah. But. This dog is worth 10 bucks, Right? Especially for the role it has in the movie, poor guy. But they always got to show the full life cycle, I guess, of the, the aliens here with these figures. They're little face huggers, or I guess in this case, where he came out of. So, there you go. Is it the same face hugger for all three? It yes, the face sick. hugger is the same. It is just one of them comes in the tube, one of them comes with the egg, and one of them comes by itself. So the tail is wrapped at the bottom. Yep, so you can kind of like stand them up, sort of. And then the fingers display, and there is a sucker hole in there. Oh yeah, I showed that sucker close up in the first video, and it was... I apologized profusely for <laughs> ruining many people's days if they didn't know that that's what the inside of a face hugger looked like. Yeah. I was kind of like, I kind of feel like I need to put a, a warning up on here for... <laughs> <laughs> graphic visuals. Well, I guess we could start uh, looking at these guys one by one and compare them to Wave 1. Sure. So there's your Xenomorph from the first Alien movie, and this time he is done in red plastic, whereas in Wave 1 he was done in white plastic. It was a lot shinier. And he's got the gray details on the head there that sort of emulate what it looked like underneath that dome yeah, where it had like that skull underneath there and that's kind of this looks like the shadow of that I think I like wave one a little bit better just I think the sheen on the plastic I like it a lot better than like the more dull finish that the red one has well bring, bring in the other egg because I think it's a really oh. the egg is super impressive yeah the egg looks amazing I pointed that out in that first video too there's like layers of paint on there that bring out the texture. You can see the detail in the face hugger a bit better because it's a darker plastic. But this one glows in the dark. So that's the trade-off I guess you get for that. So So I guess the I don't remember if we shoot if we shot videos for this, I don't remember it. It would have been about a year and a half ago. So the the one thing that I'll say about the the alien ones versus the predator is the aliens to me are sort of squat and bulky and that's not how i think of xenomorphs i think of them as tall and thin so these are like fine on their own and they are clearly xenomorphs but in my head i'm separating them these are like fun cool toys but i'm mentally distinguishing them from xenomorphs i i look at them as like the family friendly ones i think these are a lot more along that line of the mass produced multicolored kid toy from a rated r movie type deal where you know let's make them all fun colors that way they won't look like creepy bug monsters and right kill and you, it's, you know it's, it's it's still a weird concept to make kid toys for an r-rated movie but uh especially for an r-rated movie that's like 40 years old <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ten dollar kid toys on the bottom shelf at Walmart, and yet they do still look cool. Yes, and I will buy the hell out of them. And like we were talking about earlier, we would love if they could get uh, some more licenses. For example, Terminator and RoboCop. Right? Can you imagine all four of these guys running around in comparable figures that are ten dollars each? That'd be awesome. It'd be like. It's sort of like the Playmobil, if they had yes. every every license interchangeable. Now I want RoboCop Playmobil. <laughs> Can you imagine? If they did the car, I'd be seriously tempted. Or the Ed 209, and it would have electronic lights and sounds. Sure, yeah. You have 10 seconds to comply. I've wanted it. 
I've wanted an Ed for my shelf. So this is Arctic Attack. Yeah, right. And this, that, this that's is, the one that's worth a lot nowadays if you have it still in the box. This is Lava. Yeah, Lava Blast Shield. Yeah. Yeah. But with glow in the dark accessories. If so. you just think of it, think of them as like Mega Man villains. <laughs> There's the power ups. <laughs> yeah. This is Heat Man. Right. Here's Ice Man. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I still think he looks pretty cool though in the white plastic. Reminds he me does of look Prometheus cool. a little bit. Kind of a little bit of callback to that a little bit somewhat. I like him. It makes the sculpt stand out too. I was noticing like if these were all just black and silver like they should be, they would look cool. But you miss a lot of that detail in that sculpt so and they both do have the crazy horns and the exhaust pipes or whatever the hell those are and the on tail their back. is only articulated at the base correct right there same with this guy yeah what are those exhaust pipes or pumpkin head tubes that's mm -hmm. what i always think of you know so take a look at this guy right here this is the second alien from aliens and this time he is presented in like fluorescent green plastic. This is the one that caught my eye, much like the blue Predator from the Predator Wave 2. Saw this on the shelf and was like, holy cow, look at that thing. He practically glows in the dark. And that's how I found out the accessories glow in the dark. The alien, however, does not. Just confirm that, unfortunately. Like the white one from Wave 1, I like this green. It's a really effective green. It does look like Nickelodeon green, but you can see the sculpt very well. You're very good at picking words of things that I'll never be able to unsee. So you definitely, <laughs> just like you showed me the Avatar Predator, which I'll never be able to unsee. But yeah, now I can't help but think that this guy just got slimed at the Kids' Choice Awards. Because that's definitely that fluorescent green vanilla pudding <laughs> color. <laughs> kind of to offset that sort of the total opposite for how he looked in wave one which was this dark blue with dark green highlights on his head and on his forearms to kind of show the parts that are different from the other sculpt that's an amazing paint job for wave one yeah again 10 bucks yeah it's crazy it's a metallic blue this one is probably the closest to what the alien would actually look like being closest to black so as you can see a lot of the sculpt can get a little bit lost in there, but at the same time, it also looks really cool. Whoa, uh oh, it still looks really cool, especially being the more metallic color. That's why I wish the red one had maybe been a darker red with a metallic finish. I think that would have been a lot better. There's the other tube with the non glow in the dark alien. So now I've got two next to each other. So I got one for Ripley and one for Newt. And the one for Newt glows in the dark like a nightlight because she was scared of the dark. So. Mostly. 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 Ugh. Newt. Now, you got any more thoughts on Alien from Alien 2? I do like that he has the different head sculpt from the first one, which is accurate to the movies because of the design changes between the first and the second movie. First one being a lot more smooth and like a clear visor or a dome, and this one having a lot more ridges on it and looking kind of frightening there. No, I, I don't have anything else to say. I just, I just like it. Yeah. I want to paint the... Aliens less than I want to paint the Predators. <laughs> what would you paint the aliens? Just like movie accurate? or I might just do it. Or just like highlights for whatever like a, scheme they are. <clears throat> I might just do a black wash to bring out the details. Oh, I might just leave that would look the, kinda cool on the this solid guy. colors. He'd look like toxic waste alien. Otherwise, I would do full repaint and make them shiny black. And then you, you lose the detail, but you make it a bit more movie well, accurate. You could throw on the silver teeth and nails and stuff. And and you can like, get some clear nail polish and I, add drool and stuff on them that you could solidify. Oh. I do like that they, you know, on the red one too, they didn't paint anything except for the teeth. Yeah. It's it's a nice touch. Did they do the nails? I guess they didn't do the nails, but that might be something I would touch up eventually. Just do silver on all the nails. Yeah, I really like them. Same articulation of the single jointed knees and elbows. Yeah. Which is a little disappointing. I wish they had a little bit more articulation because I think that would solve a little bit of the clunky thick nature that you you saw we're pointing out but the next one oh yeah I think has more articulation uh he has less oh so here's the alien from alien 3 and this again is the one that runs around on all fours 
because he came out of a dog rather than a human. So that is the explanation for that and why he's kind of a different shape. Now he does lose some of the articulation, again, being down on all fours. He doesn't have the waist articulation here like the other ones have. His legs are all one piece that only bend right here at the waist itself. And that's just a swivel, that's it. And the tail bends right there at the base. The head moves and everything, the jaw moves and all that. And the arms have more range than the other ones do just because he's got to be on the floor all the time. They kind of wanted you to have something to do with him. But otherwise, he is a little bit less mobile than the other guys are. He's also all one color. There is no other paint on him, nothing for his teeth, nothing for any details on or anything. He's just all this kind of bronze metallic color. And what I think that is supposed to be an homage to is the very end of the movie where they dump the molten lead on this guy and coat the whole thing in the lead and he comes bursting out and is completely covered. And that's kind of what this looks like. And I think that's why there's no teeth painted and nothing. So I think the whole thing is supposed to be covered in this metallic molten lead. And that's how it looks at the end of the movie. So I think that's pretty nice. He comes with this dog that Toast showed you guys. It's a pretty awesome dog. He's a bit lighter color this time. And the glow-in-the-dark face hugger. First movie, by comparison, or no, the first wave, by comparison, was a metallic orange color with tiger stripes on the head. That's a weird choice. Right there. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I think they went with the stripes because of the orange. I think they're like, what goes with orange? Yeah. With stripes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> the dog is also a bit more movie accurate for the first one. He's darker in color. But whatever, they had to do something different, I guess. I still like this guy. I loved I I'm in the minority here, but I'm one of the people that thinks that Alien 3 was a better sequel to Alien than Alien 2 was. I still like Alien 2. I just don't think it's the best sequel. I think it forgot it was a horror movie and just turned into a straight up action movie, which is fine, but Action it's comedy. It's kind of like the same thing Terminator 2 did to Terminator. It forgot it was a horror movie and turned it into an action comedy. Like, and that's not what Terminator should be. The best Terminator sequel, fight me on this, is Terminator Salvation. It's the only one that follows the rules from the first movie. The only one. Leave those comments below. Indeed. Same as with Alien. Alien 3, best Alien sequel. What say you on this guy? Anything? I really like... So from the angle that I'm sitting at, he's got this swirly dome. I don't know if the lights are kind of washing that out or not. Oh, no, I totally see it. Uh, I love the swirl that they put onto the dome. It definitely does help sell the coated in metal look that he's got to him. So that, that is pretty awesome. Just to look right before he gets shattered by the sprinklers. Oh, they're kissing. Oh. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, it's, it's good, and I like, too, that it's a different, because the other two are upright, and this one's on all fours, so it, you know, breaks up the shelf a bit. Yeah. I like it. It's nice. Especially now having all six of them. It's nice to have the two runners that can be down in front, and then the other four standing, and then the queen will be up in the background. Exactly. Hi. Ah. Just for comparison, here is Predator from the Lennard toys next to one of the aliens. So they're about the same size. So you can do your own alien versus predators. And no matter what you do, it'll be better than both of the movies. So there they are again, wave two from Lennard toys. These are the alien seven inch figures from Walmart. These guys are $9 and some change each. So for less than $30, you get all three of these guys plus their glow in the dark accessories. They're pretty articulated and have pretty vibrant colors. Can't really say much about paint schemes this time around because there really isn't paint application other than the teeth on two of them to speak of, but they still look pretty cool and I like them. I think they look nice with the rest of the set on the shelf. Yeah, I'm really, the, these came out of the blue. I wasn't expecting these and um, I'm glad that the green and blue pop so much because that really makes it visible from the shelf oh, when, yeah. when you don't know that these are coming. Because it has been roughly a year, year and a half since Wave 1 came out. Yeah. So this is a pleasant surprise that 
that this line and the company is still going. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled for me because the boxes are basically identical to the first wave and they did get some restocks of the first wave as well. So that's part of why I was confused. Some places just had the first wave of predators but the second wave of aliens and then other places had the second wave of predators and only the first wave of aliens. So you might have to go to a couple different Walmarts if you're looking to collect all these. $10 each, you can't beat it. So I guess all that's left really to say for these guys is... Uh, Thank you for watching. Let us know what you guys think in the comments, if you guys got these aliens, or if you uh, expected anything different, or any other properties you would like to see Leonard Toys make some figures for. Uh, like and subscribe, and until next time, I am Dan. I'm Toast. And this has been Void City Reviews. See you later.